Third mark. Third mark. <laughs> Hi. Hello, welcome. Hey, uh, Hi. Now we have uh, uh, Shirley To, who, who is our uh, singer from our last webcast, and also David Hills, bassist uh, from uh, our last concert, but also for tonight's concert as well. So welcome, Shirley we're and just, David. We're just friends. Oh, yes, we are just friends too, yes. <laughs> and we have a special guest. Yeah. Lydia. With Lydia. us as well. Good girl. Lydia. Lydia, good girl. Lydia, good girl. Hello. It's great. Well, thank you for joining. I, I, I thought it would be a wonderful uh, for people who are just tuning in just uh, slowly uh, to just uh, have a little uh, chat, you know, uh, in a Buddhist style, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> but uh, how are you doing? Great. Yeah, I, uh, I know we are, are still at home, right? We are still pretty much a stay at home mode. Uh, but yeah. Shirley told me yesterday that uh, that restaurants are starting to open. I guess Eric Assetti told us. Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, is, what, thing, what's well, the deal? One thing was very funny, like, you know, like how uh, Dr. Gupta, Gupta, from uh, CNN, like he's been doing this, like how to make a mask and how to run in the streets and what to do and this and that, and, you know, like how to clean your groceries. So he did a segment yesterday. It was about um, uh, what to do when you go to a restaurant to eat. So it was like talking about like, you know, making sure that there's no one around you. <laughs> like if there are, there are a lot of people just run away. And there was this one part that was very funny. He said, it's better that you go to a restaurant to eat with your family members, like people who live with you. But if you are going to eat with your friends, uh, better find out how they've been practicing social distancing and how they've been, um, uh, pra you know, doing this, all the things that they should be doing to avoid COVID-19. Then you can go to have din uh, lunch or dinner with them. So it's kind of oh. like that, making sure that your friends are good before you can meet them. Uh, oh, so that oh. so that's gonna that's not uh, that's gonna be what happened with you. If we go out to eat some Hong Kong food soon, I will I will check on you and see if you are COVID negative. I just got a result back uh, from Thursday. Uh, actually, I don't even I haven't checked my email. <laughs> they just sent us an send me an email, but it's uh it's getting more and more efficient. I think I'm getting it uh within 48 now hours now uh from the free uh, sites that i i went and test uh he's been uh, doing it every twice a week hey make sure you have a virus scanner for your email uh say it again <laughs> make sure you have a virus scanner for your email oh wow <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, well it's not only email these days is facebook I have a lot of uh, beautiful women adding me yeah. and want to add me as a friend, you know, <laughs> so uh, mostly blonde. Somebody should start <laughs> face mask work. So how are you doing, David? Oh, great. Yeah, just uh, keeping busy with uh, different projects, you know, things that uh, I've had to put off before and now I can finally get around to finishing. So, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, we're really enjoying that. And, you know, we take Lydia for walks and, you know, try to get some exercise and um, but other than that mostly uh, you're staying home of course yeah we, we are you do our, you guys have to, uh, uh, say it again we go to our lot to check um, the building mm -hmm. situation yes we have yes. To, this afternoon we're going there again uh, to meet some neighbors cool. and uh, you guys have like a park nearby right for Lydia to walk yeah, around yeah, yeah. cool and what what kind of mo she is now? I know she's not. Uh, she just had lunch, or oh, you guys have just had lunch, or yeah, she's. Uh... Hey, who is that? Lydia, is that Ellen? <laughs> Who's that, Lydia? <laughs> who's that, Lydia? She... <gasps> you listen to you see, you see who's boss? <laughs> no. Uh, I yeah, no. She's yeah, I think her. she needs. You need to smell me, but now you can't do smell via uh, <laughs> video conference. Smell a vision, yeah. Not here. Ah, that would be an interesting invention. Somebody can do that. 
Um, the dogs are like that. They uh, they relax most of the day, and then uh, there's a frenzy of activity. You know, when you go out or if there's food. <laughs> Very cool. I remember we did a nice uh, postcard a uh, few years ago for the Year of the Dog. <laughs> yeah, we have it we framed. Have it framed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. right next to my piano. So uh, very very good, very good. Oh, um, cares to tell tell us a little bit about your project, David? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I have a few new tunes uh, that. Uh, I did uh, most of the recording and then uh, just the finishing touches. We had uh, some stuff uh, get in the way uh, and I had to put it on hold, but now I have time to get back to finishing it. And I, I think this morning I just uploaded another tune uh, and it has uh, several of the members from your band playing it. For example, uh, Andrew Sunewick on guitar and Jamie Tate on drums and uh, Michael Stever, Rob, Rob Scher, yeah. you know, several of the horn players. And uh, I also have a string quartet. Um, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed writing for this uh, instrumentation. And uh, the song I uploaded today is uh, inspired by a trip I took to New Zealand. And uh, I always, uh, nature is a great inspiration for me, just personally, but also musically. Uh, so I'm trying to finish up this project. We'll see uh, when I get around to having enough for a, an album. If even albums are a thing these days, you know. Yeah, I I also wondering what the format. I mean, um, well, I I'm based on the uh, Recording Academy's uh, <laughs> standard, which is thirty minutes <laughs> nowadays for an album. Um, but uh, I'm also wondering what is going to be like uh, about the. I guess for the recording scene, it may not be uh, affected as much. But I'm cert for certain a lot of the recording projects are on hold. If you have to go to a studio uh, for recording, for example, I've certainly done uh, more remote recording, re recording from home, uh, than uh, previous to COVID, and uh, I think we will see a lot of the changes that are being implemented now will stay in effect even after uh, sort of the COVID pandemic dies down, just because a lot of people realize that uh, in some ways it uh, gets better results. But I think when it comes to recording, it's always preferable, especially if it's music where you want to have uh, sort of group creation that everybody's in a room together uh, and interact. I think usually you get the best results that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's also uh, they're, they're working around with, uh, you know, remote recording and so forth. I mean, for big bands, I just have I'm clueless in terms of when uh, for example, even get back on stage. I do have a scheduled performance at the vibrato on the August 2nd, but I just don't, I'm scratching my head. How could you put a uh, uh, 17 think, piece band close to, you know, um, I think it, we at can, this we time, you know? We have to develop masks for horn instruments. <laughs> masks for horn, okay. <laughs> it's a special design mute. It's a, uh, um, hmm. we have to ask Ya Zhi because he's very inventive. We're going to talk, uh, I, I will, we'll have an interview with him uh, in a little bit. Just uh, he, he was very generous to, uh, uh, to uh, s spend some time with me and talking about uh, his uh, Hulu Si invention. I think you still remember he performed a beautiful piece at the uh, Marcy uh, last May. And uh, so he will be joining us from from Bob from Boston. So, um, which, which is wonderful. Say hi for uh, me. Yeah. Uh, and how? Oh, uh, Shelley, are you you show, you show uh, also you're doing some screenwriting? I, I was. Yeah. Oh, it's been life saving. But I want to talk about cutting my hair first. Oh. <laughs> it got oh, the to salon. Right. You got a point. Like, have you cut your hair actually? How come your hair? How come your hair stays so fine. so fine? <laughs> because I did, I did have a haircut. Yeah, I, um, and uh, uh, actually a few weeks ago. Um, Somebody is willing to cut your hair? Uh, yeah, well, she works out of home right now because yeah. uh, everything is closed. And uh, I think salon, uh, salons are now open, so it's, uh, it's wonderful. Yeah. So, um, uh, of course, all the precautions and so forth. I, 
that's why I go get tested uh, because you yeah. just go into stores and you uh, people uh, well even you go on running I, I run along the uh, Aro cycle and I would go really late uh, I, I usually I finish running jogging uh, after dark but still uh, once I get there it's like everyone is there since the, there were the, 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 some of the parks were closed and so people were looking for places to go. And I think people now discover that this is a nice uh, bike lane to walk around. <laughs> and so I'm like, wow. And uh, some people don't wear any mask at all. So I just, um, uh, you just have to uh, just be, I have to just be careful, you know, and, and yeah. get tested more often. So um, yeah, yeah otherwise it's, uh, it's good to see Lydia. Yeah. Yeah. Lydia. About screenwriting, it's been life saving because because of the class that we I, I didn't take the class, like I have known about this class for a long time, maybe four years. And I wanted to join, but because the class is in Orange County. So it would be like two hours each like one hour each way to go to the class and come back. So I I just didn't want to do it. And now they have to do it online, so I had no excuse, and I was very excited. So I, I signed up, and it's been just wonderful, a lot of fun. I would recommend everybody to take a screenwriting class because it's, Great. it's a lot of Great. fun. You don't have to be the best writer, but eventually you learn, and and it's like you you seeing you basically seeing what you see in your brain on paper. So it's cool. So it's cool. Ah, yeah, yeah. I never really quite uh, develop a sense of uh, writing a script, for example, or, or even like doing anything remotely film scoring. So <laughs> I thought it would be a nice adventure to start writing that, writing words, even poetry or lyrics, for example. I never thought to. I, I came to the U.S. to study music, you know play bass and write songs and make music videos and act and then now I'm writing script. <laughs> so you never know what's going what's going to happen. Life is a box of chocolate. I may uh, ask you for something later. Huh? Uh, Shirley, if I have an idea, <laughs> I'll ask you to yeah, write something yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, and of course, there's uh, many other updates I'm getting from uh, other members in the band too, uh, but uh, I will certainly be in touch with you guys again, or very soon. Let's get, uh, let's find a place where there's outdoor seating. Maybe in two weeks, we'll see. But I, I think it's going to be really busy. Everybody is eager. Even three weeks ago, there was traffic on I-10, so I know that there's the people already moving around. <laughs> so. Um, <clears throat> But I wish you all well, uh, safe and healthy. You too. You too. Uh, and uh, we'll be uh, talking, uh, uh, we'll be in touch soon. And thanks for joining us and uh, say bye to our audience. And we're going to start the concert in a couple of seconds. Bye bye. Enjoy the concert. You're going to like it. Lydia is saying bye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>